how to afford a house. If you want to learn how to afford a house, let's get started. Welcome back to our channel. My name is Michelle Babino and I'm with teambabino.com and Future Home Realty in the Tampa area. Now, before we get started on today's topic, which is how do I afford a house? Go ahead and click the subscribe button and click the little notification bell. That way you're notified every time we post a new video. Today we're going to answer a lot of people's questions. How do I afford a house? Well, we're going to answer that by helping you prepare to finance your home. Number one, develop a budget. Instead of telling yourself what you'd like to spend, use receipts to create a budget that reflects your actual habits over the next several months you'll probably end up finding ways that you can save money. One of the ways that I recommend to create a budget is a zero-based budget. And I will have a link in the description to a form that you can download to start creating your budget today. Number two, reduce debt. Lenders generally look for a debt load of no more than 36% of your income. This figure includes your mortgage, which will typically be between 25 and 28% of your net household income. So you need to get the rest of your debt, your installment debt, like your car loans, your, your student loans, any revolving credit that you have, you would need to get that between eight to 10% of your net monthly income. Number three, increase your income. There are a lot of ways you can increase your income. One could be just to ask for a raise. And if that's something that is not possible, another thing you could do is just go ahead and get a second job. Find something very flexible. One of the things in our local area that you could do as a flexible job would be to be a shipped shopper. You could find out more about that in the link down below. Number four, designate certain amount of money each month to put away in your savings account. Although it's possible to get a mortgage with as little as 5% or less down of the purchase price, you wanna go ahead and aim for 20% down payment. Number five, keep your job. While you don't need to be at your job forever to qualify for a home, having a job for less than two years may mean that you will have a higher interest rate. Number six, establish good credit history. Get a credit card and make payments by the due date and pay off entire balances as promptly as you can. Number seven, start saving. It feels like I'm repeating myself, but you want to start saving so that you have enough money for all of the extras. Ideally, like I said before, you should have enough money saved for 20% down of the purchase price. And then don't forget to factor in the closing cost, which can average between 2 to 7% of the purchase price. Number eight, obtain a copy of your credit report. Now you could do this for free once a year, and I will put a link down in the description where you can get it, obtain a copy of your credit report. You want to make sure when you get your credit report, look, through, look it over, comb it through, make sure there are no errors. And if there are any errors, you need to make sure that you take care of them immediately. And that's just by contacting the agency that had the error. Number nine, decide what kind of mortgage you can afford. Forward. Now really to find this out, you're going to have to get with a financing professional to find out what you would actually qualify for. But generally, you want to look for homes that are priced between two to three times your gross income. A financing professional will help you determine which loan you qualify for. Find out what kind of mortgage, a 30 year, a 15 year fixed and adjustable rate mortgage. Do you qualify for an FHA loan, a VA loan, a USDA loan? Also, you're gonna wanna gather any documentation that the lender will require for a pre-approval. Your W-2s, your pay stub copies, account numbers, and two to four months of bank statements. And don't forget the insurance, the maintenance, the HOA fees, homeowners association fees, property taxes, utilities. And number 10, seek down payment help. Check with your state and local government to find out whether you qualify for a special mortgage or down payment assistance program. And if you have an IRA account, you can use the money that you've been saving to purchase your first home without any penalty for early withdrawal. Thank you for watching guys. I hope this was helpful for you. You can go ahead and get your free download today 
I have a link down below. All you have to do is put in your name, your email, and you will get your download instantly. If you have any questions about buying or selling in the Tampa area, go ahead. Our contact information is below. Reach out to us and we'd be help happy to answer any of your questions. Or you can leave a comment down below the video. I think the person who is on the buying side of the real estate transaction. The agent who is on the selling side of the transaction is often referred to as